the drama between Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber has picked back up because it's never going to be gone. I, I, I'm just we convinced. Over I this. thought I thought everyone was going to shut up when these pictures were taken, and no, that did not happen. It pains me. There's Truly been a lot of back and me. forth. What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rianne Fran, giving you that Friday energy on a Friday. Hopefully, everyone had an amazing week. Off to an amazing weekend. How's everybody doing today? Wonderful. I'm looking forward to the weekend. That's beautiful. Why do you say it like that? I don't know. I just the way I just said it actually made it feel like we were sitting at a news desk. It did, and it felt and kind of th- condescending. And you, and you threw it to <laughs> you threw it to me. Yeah. No, I not did not mean it that way at all. I'm, I am excited for the weekend. That's good. How about you, Noah? I'm excited for it tomorrow. Me and Trent going to Nas together. Yeah, Shout big out night. Game time. Big night for the boys. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Well, Rhea and I will be having um, a couple proper wild and getting ready for our evening to yes. go out as well. If you need some energy, which we will need tomorrow night or tonight as you're listening, yeah. grab some proper wild. It's clean all day energy, morning, long day, late night, whatever you need. It's clean all day energy. And you can go to properwild.com slash barstool for 30% off your first order. Great There's flavors. Great new flavors. Um, there's strawberry kiwi. There's lemon lime. There's mango. There's apple. Apple. All I've different. been liking the apple. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Is you know I'm gonna pop apple one right is now. a really underrated okay, pop one. Apple's a really underrated flavor. It is like people don't use apple often. They do don't snapple apple. They don't. Yeah, and it's just I had a when I was in Arizona I had a apple. I have the apple. Do you have the apple? Oh, you didn't put the apple on on the desk with us. Oh, here you go. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now everyone can see the apple case as well. Um, I had a apple lemonade really? in Arizona f- f- for lunch with my really lunch one good. day. And Any, it was so good. Anything lemonade. Ooh, that's good. And it was just, in my opinion, that like apple is just a slept on it is. flavor. Because people always just think like apple juice. Right. But it's not like apple isn't used as a I'm not a big flavor. apple juice. a great fruit. Yeah. I'm not a big apple juice fan, but this kind of tastes like a real apple. There you go. And that's how you know that's the flavor is really <laughs> there, good. There you go. So go to properwild.com slash barcel. You get 30% off. Yeah, we're going to have a night. We are going to Hardy's concert. Um, great guy. Yeah. Really excited for the evening. We're going to have a really fun night. We went to the Islanders game the other we night, did. which was really awesome. Thank you to the Islanders for having us. It was so much fun. And oh, I went back to the gynecologist this morning and I had, I'm sorry, I had no idea that, so I had to get a sonogram. Yeah. And I had no idea that the it was going to be an internal one. Yeah. Like I always just envi- envision the one where it's on your stomach because mm-hmm. that's what I used to get when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And I hadn't got ultrasound. one probably. Yeah. I ha- Yes, an ultrasound. I hadn't got one since like probably 2018. Yeah. And they had to really get in there this they time. They really got in there and, and she wasn't prepared. Like I'm not going to lie. Like. The last time I went but to the gynecologist, honest, I made sure she was like looking real good. Yeah, and I'll then be this honest, time I, I think just it's better. Didn't really think of it. I think it's better to be unprepared. <laughs> yeah, just because you don't, it's not in your head. You're not thinking about it. Yeah, and then like, and then boom, it it's, was inside it, me. exactly, and then it's over, and you're like, wow, didn't expect that, but yeah. at least it's over. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt or anything, but yeah, you, it's in there for a while. Yeah, like they're just like moving the thing around you inside. They're really a while. checking out what's going on. They were. I have a cyst on my left ovary. If anyone was wondering, but it'll be okay. Well, I I actually do feel like a lot of people were wondering because I like I said, like you have said and we have said, mm-hmm. you've been dealing with some chronic pain some and pain. Yeah. Well, hello, there's the answer. Yeah, um, it'll go away on its own and then probably come back again. That's just my life. That's just endometriosis. That's just for the you. way it rolls, huh? You know. So it is what it is. And, but endo. It's good to it's good to have an answer. Like if I just Certainly. had pain for no reason, then I would understand. But they were like, yeah, you know, they form, they burst, they form, they burst. That's just the life. Sometimes I live. the worst thing is when you are having pain. You go to the doctor and they're like, you're oh. fine, and you're like, just tell me where, like, tell me why lead this is me. happening. Lead me in the direction. Yeah, yeah, just give me like an answer as to why. So at least like you know you have a very concrete answer as to what is happening. Yeah, now I don't have to go back. So still I'm fucking about sucks. That. Yeah, it does. Those things. <laughs> and when they burst, really man, sucks. if you've had an uh, uh, ovarian cyst burst, oh, man, those hurt. I texted you, um, we were talking about it this morning, and I was like, just the word burst <laughs> yeah. to be used for any part of the body. Right. Think you have something bursting inside you. awful. Yeah. Like anything bursting. Yeah, like no, appendix. no, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not like all that, around, but it No, but just all around bad. 
no right. matter where it is. Because whenever I would go Pimple. to the hospital when I was in high school, I would show up and they'd be like, oh, yeah, you had a cyst burst. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, same old pain. Yeah. So God. now we know. So that was fun. A little nice little surprise that I'll mm, today yeah. at the gynecologist. But I'm feeling good now. Now I don't have to go back. That's good, at least. Yeah. Um, the doctor had to leave because he had an emergency delivery. And so the sonotech was like, I could tell you. She was like, I could read it. Like, I yeah, know yeah, it, what yeah. it is. So then she told me. And then he called me later and he was like, you're fine. It, it, it'll go away on its own. And if it doesn't, if you, you know. If it bursts, it bursts. Yeah, whatever. So there's that. That really that is Wait, did you see, did you see the like doctor? I just like really can't believe that. No, I didn't see the doctor. Oh, the doctor had the to doctor go. No, no, I know. I, I wanted to know if you saw him like rush out. No, the doc. he literally apparently left right before I walked in because they were in panic mode <laughs> when I walked into this, into this place. Oh my God. Every worker was surrounded by the front desk and there were about 10 people waiting. And I was like, oh man, it's popping today. And they were like, what are you here for? They were very panicked. Yeah, and yeah. I was the only one that got to stay. Everyone else had to go home. Sorry. A lot going on. It is just crazy um, for the people that do have endometriosis, which is a lot. Yeah, he did say that, that it, it's wa just it wasn't like, uh, necessary, necessarily related. Like, he called really? me. He was like, he was like, it's a clear one. It's a clear. <laughs> it's just crazy to me that that is in, like, the, this day and age of medicine, that that is the solution for an ovarian cyst it's like well it'll just go away or it'll burst yeah that's usually and like what that's happens. like that's but mm. I'm, I'm what i'm saying is like that's just crazy to me that there's mm. not like a better solution for that problem well that's just how the body works yeah i guess and yeah birth control is really the only thing that stops the growth of endometriosis yeah. so fucking been hard on that to be since i was 15 yeah it is sometimes it is but I feel always positive after when i get an answer and i'm like okay yeah as long as i'm fine yeah they said you know I'm fertile. That's good. That's good news. That is good. Because yeah. you never know when you have those types of no, things. No, no, no. So that was no. nice. That is good. So I didn't go to. I didn't go to the. <laughs> I, call. I didn't sometimes go, but I, I should. I have here, to go. Sometimes I get on here. I start spilling information. I'm like, why did I just say that? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I didn't life. know the words. I'm fertile. We're gonna come out. Yeah. Of my mouth. Yeah. I actually said that when I called my parents earlier, and they're like, okay. <laughs> I was like, sorry. I don't know why I, got, I said that to you guys. No, but that's a. Good and they thing. were like, oh no, we're happy to hear and, that. You know, it's yes, it's a, it's that's good news as far as yeah, yeah because yeah. you know sometimes with people with endometriosis yeah. that's a struggle yeah she looked so. at my ovaries and she was like the eggs are flowing she's good. like you're still you're still making eggs good <laughs> I was like, well, right. that's, well that's good news Thanks. <laughs> thank you because i wasn't worried about it before but because you just said that i am a little yes. bit worried yeah um so yeah that's but that every time you talk about it i'm like damn i really have to go to the gynecologist it is so get long. your checkups in i, I have to go canceled my dance appointment yesterday oh. i just have a bad problem with <laughs> but make I mean, sure you get so many, all your appointments in there's trust so me many get them ways. done now yeah, get know, them done at the beginning of the year there's so many ways to find a good doctor now like especially in new york like there's all these you know apps and stuff you can use and whatnot mm -hmm. but just i always feel like you want to go to somebody somebody knows or you know mm -hmm. or you know and you gotta make sure they take your insurance yeah and it's just like and and then it's it's when you go like I had mine in New Jersey that I always went to and I would go back to to see when I was like in the city and mm -hmm. would go back and I've just like nobody's in New Jersey anymore right. like it's gotten to the point where I have to like move on yeah. from that and, I'm and if you like, had a car it'd be easy yeah like yeah. I'm always gonna go back to Long Island because I have my car so it's like yeah. I'm I'm always gonna make the trip there and I also have my house yeah. but because it's just it's just comforting when you're going to the person that you've gone to and yeah. they know you and they know what's been going on with your body right. so now i'm like they I got gotta, the stats i gotta find a, a new person yeah well my mom's gonna get mad at me if she's listening to this because she's hopefully tried to she, send me to a new person hope, and i didn't go hopefully she doesn't listen to this yeah every time i call my parents after like a doctor's appointment they're like well, you know you're on camera you're on camera you got to take care of yourself i'm like none of these things are none of these things on, on camera, camera. Yeah. besides maybe the dentist that i should have gone to yesterday yeah. my bad uh but yeah i'm excited for the weekend so you skipped out on your on your filling yep again well, I didn't. Again, I went to the dentist last week. No, I know. And the I went through the but whole thing. He gave me the you cleaning. You have rescheduled. You did. Yep. You reschedule the filling. Well, I, okay. So <laughs> I went to Solid Core for the first time Tuesday Tuesday night. Yeah. Which is, if you don't know what that is, it's a very hard workout class that is is making waves across the nation. <laughs> and it is. I have done Pilates a ton of times now. Right. Solid core is not Pilates. I hate to break it to all the, the solid core ladies out there or gentlemen. You, 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 yeah, you might be rustling a, a uh, group. It's not Pilates. Yeah. It's not. Uh, like, and I 
I was looking it up after and a lot of people online say the same thing. They're like, this is not Pilates. Yeah. It's maybe a form. It takes some some yeah yeah Pilates inspiration inspiration from uh-huh. Pilates. There's a reformer, uh-huh. but wh- it's a lot different. It's a lot more intense. I very much enjoyed it. I was really nervous to go because will you go back? I have a class scheduled for tomorrow. Will uh-huh. I go? I don't know. But I was really nervous to go because I get very embarrassed working out in front of other people groups i don't know why i I don't like group classes at all i get really embarrassed i just get really in my head i'm like everyone's making fun of me like it's just a i hate going to group classes yeah i get really i'm like so in my head about it and um all day i was talking to you guys about how nervous i was to go and i wanted to cancel but i really wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone i was like you know what just go alone you don't need to go with somebody just go by yourself and just do it and what's the worst that can happen what somebody's an asshole makes fun of you like that person would be an asshole if they were to make fun of you in a workout class that's just a mean person and that doesn't really happen no and it never happens to your face no no (laughs) if they they want to go home and talk about it that's fine yeah yeah i just don't want it to happen like in the class your face oh look at that person doing this whatever and it's also not what i said to you everybody's worried about their own right everyone's worried about themselves and that's a good message out there if you're feeling insecure and embarrassed most people are, are worried about themselves mm-hmm. which hence me i'm worried They're about myself the whole time you. and it's really it's not a high school bully movie like people aren't like that mean yeah in real life i mean they can be but they're more mean online so i go to the class two girls walking after me and they were so sweet and they were like ria and i was like guys i was so scared to come to this class because yeah. i didn't want people to make fun of me like but i'm and they, it was their first class too um so I was really happy. I made friends right before the class and we all sat next to each other and it was kind of cute. And we yeah. took a picture after in the mirror, like, ooh, solid core. And I, it within two seconds, I wanted to walk out of that room. Like, <laughs> I was like, holy fuck, this is so hard. But after that initial, they give you the modifications to make it a little easier, which is still really hard. Yeah. So I did that and... I ended up feeling really good. Um, it My muscles were shaking throughout the entire thing and after. But for some reason, I woke up. Like, I think it gave me a lot of energy. Probably. Because I went to sleep early, but then I woke up at 3.30 in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep oh. until 8 a.m. Like, just, just wide awake watching TV. Like, I <laughs> couldn't fall back asleep. And then I finally was able to fall back asleep at, sleep at 8 a.m., which was a long way to... T- say why i canceled my dentist appointment but i was up all freaking night and i just couldn't go but long story short i enjoyed solid core and your cavity is still unfilled and my cavity is still unfilled and and when i got home i was like will i ever go back to that like it was so fucking hard but then when i woke up the next day and my muscles were slightly sore but not as sore as i expected because i have been working out a lot i was proud of myself and i said you know what I'm going to sign up for another class. And if I go, I go. And if I cancel, I cancel. That's fine. Yeah. But I'm glad I went. And if those girls are listening, thank you for being nice to me and being there my friend. Um, I really enjoyed that. So it's beautiful. I'm open to making friends. That's also <laughs> another message I'm putting out there. If you see if you see me. Yeah. Let's chat because I, I almost start talking. Sometimes I start talking too much. I'm like, are they annoyed that I'm talking to them too much? Like they said hi to me, but now I'm talking to them a lot. And then I'm in my head like, am I being overly excited about You're them right, talking to me? Incredibly over <laughs> overthinking every interaction every, of this workout every, class. I, I, Between the workout class and overthinking talking too much to these strangers. The, the <laughs> social aspect of the workout classes has gotten to my head so much. I I don't think I've ever yeah. thought overthought anything as much as these yeah. workout classes. The way you are talking through this makes the, that <laughs> makes me think how I feel. And I'm like, Jesus. I don't feel like that. I should be going to group classes. <laughs> no, you should. If you don't have this much yes. uh, overthinking like about like the I workout had class, some anxiety about it. But I'm like, I don't have that much. No, no. And if you can go, then I can go. Listen, it's the it's the most anxiety I've I've dealt yeah. with in a long time. I, is this I workout actually class. also have a solid core really close to my apartment, but I have never done reformer Pilates ever. So I feel like that's a big big jump Fran, to I jump suggest into it. you keep going to your personal training yeah, and yeah. then go to solid core. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. It is fucking so fucking hard. Yeah, I know. It is. I'm good. I also don't need to be spending more money on working out. Yeah. Like I'm already spending a shit ton. Yeah, so it's, I'm I'm good to go with what I've got going right yeah. now. <laughs> it's so it's so hard, but yeah, once again, so fun uh meeting those girls and if you see me in a class, come say hi please yeah. cuz I'm so scared and I like making friends. 
Um, I found a, a, a elite snack combo in the airport coming home from Florida that I have not seen before. And I don't know if you've seen it, but you know how they do the big snack bags now mm-hmm. of like goldfish or yeah. chew whatever. It's like they got the Ziploc on the top. They started to make goldfish extreme the the extra cheddar mm. and pretzel goldfish combined in one bag really and it is so good you mean like a mix of both or yeah mix of both but like there's there's both of each yeah pretzel and the extra cheddar goldfish combined so the in extra the bag. cheddar like rubs off on the pretzel mm-hmm. ones. and it is good personally I'm a big fan of extra cheddar goldfish. One of my all-time favorite snacks. Pretzel goldfish are my favorite goldfish. And com- combined, it is so good. So I used to like pretzel goldf- goldfish as a kid, but I also thought they tasted like soap. No, what? well, they, these do not. They tasted like soap. I liked them, but How? they tasted like soap. Tastes Somebody like out there will agree with me. The, the pretzel goldfish tasted like soap. But I would th- think with that, the they have the co- they have them. the coating of the extra cheddar. On yeah, them. yeah. So that so might I mean, that might I'm eliminate the that. soap. I just thought it was a like when I brought it home. Joe was also like, "What is that?" They should start it's making if combo. they're going to start making combo things. They should start throwing popcorn and chocolate in in one bag. They well, they do have like the, the drizzled. Yeah, yeah. Have but, you ever seen those like they combine chips ahoy with like popcorn that's like together like. No. Or they'll combine with like or they do it with a bunch of different chocolates. Really? Like Oreo. It I finished I didn't know the bag that. in like a second. Like Oh my god, I didn't it's know. It's like that. the it's like one thing, like the popcorn and the chips yeah, really yeah. like together. <gasps> wow, that I haven't seen so that either. Good. They do it with that. like all different brands, like Oreo, like Chips Ahoy, like I, they've done peanut versions, like yeah. In a big bag? Like in yeah, like the uh, in in like a big bag. I got it I used to get it all the time, but I was like, This is so unhealthy. But that sounds really good. That sounds exactly like something I would like. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, Whoa, that was a bad. Was a, that was, was a bad a throw. Short. Yeah. Short toss. Wow. It really is see. good. Oh, I have never seen those. Wow. I gotta Cookie get pop. some of that. They're so good. Chips Ahoy made with real it's Chips Ahoy cookie pieces. Yeah. Cookie pop popcorn. And they do it with like I think M and M. Yeah, I like, see a I they I'm Rhea. Variety pack. M and M minis, Oreo, Twix, Snickers, Butterfingers. Look at that one. Where do I get this? I, I used to get it. Oh my god, they have it at Walmart. Candy oh, pop. Can pop. I used to just get it at like a deli. They just had them. I've never seen I've those never before. I've never seen that. Thank you, sir. That yeah. is a wow. We're gonna have to explore yeah, that. Have to look into that. <laughs> you guys like rainbow goldfish? That's my se- probably my second favorite. Goldfish. I think yeah, I like rainbow goldfish. Yeah. yeah, they all taste the same. Goldfish really is a great. Well, snack. all the rainbow goldfish taste the same, but the rainbow goldfish don't taste the same as regular goldfish. Yeah, yeah, but the yeah. rainbow they all taste the same. Yeah. All right. I actually was a big fan of pizza goldfish when they were oh, like okay. those were. I feel like more polarizing. Yeah. Did you guys? Like, somebody those. brought those in to lunch. It was always like whoa. Yeah, it's like crazy. Guys, Mom bought those. <laughs> big pizza bagel goldfish. bites, people. Yeah, I loved bagel bites. Oh, I, I love bagel bites. I actually bites. like. I still occasionally will buy a thing of bagel bites. You know what's when crazy? I'm just like feeling like Same. I want. I love bagel bites. Nostalgic. And I am definitely not somebody. Do not confuse me for somebody who puts ranch on my pizza. Do not confuse yeah, yeah. that. Yes. But if you dip bagel bites into ranch, it's really good. Mm. It really adds like an extra little. I le- got layer of flavor. I got shit on for that. Before the dozen in Arizona, we had gotten pizza, and there was buffalo chicken. Regular, all different mm-hmm. kinds of pizza. But I took a ranch dipping sauce. And they were like, oh, Fran, like you dip your pizza in ranch? But the regular, I dipped mm-hmm. like the regular. And I was like, I would never dip a good slice of pizza yeah. in ranch. I'm like, this is not good pizza. Right. Like, I, I agree like, with this that. This is like 100%. It was from a place that was like thin crust, but it yeah. was like Domino's thin crust. Yeah, Domino's, it was sliced, yes. It was sliced in like little pieces Domino's. like that. Really? I love Domino's. I don't like Domino's. Oh, oh, God, you're talking to the you're wrong talking people. To the wrong, barking really? up the wrong tree. I got tree. Fran a Domino's gift card for her birthday one year. I, yeah. <laughs> Fran fucking loves Domino's. And you know I haven't had Domino's in a really long time. I'm proud of myself yeah. for that, but I do miss it. My yeah. favorite pizza like that you make at home is Elio's pizza. I oh, yeah. Elio's, Elio's is, really is elite. Yeah, like yeah. fake pizza you could put in ranch, but you're not getting Yeah, yeah, uh, no. You're not going to Bleecker Street and, and dipping putting it in, in ranch. No, That's no, crazy. No, no. No. 
Um, all right, let's get into the rest of the show. Oh, nice this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so hungry really now. hungry now. I know, I know. Um, we are going to do the weekly watch report. And <laughs> just <laughs> deep you, sigh. Is so excited for that. We'll talk. You know, when we, she's just done we'll talk when stuff. we get to the weekly watch report. We also have some topics. A lot of drama going on with Selena Gomez, Haley Bieber, Kylie Jenner, I, Taylor God, Swift. I thought we were done. Everyone's with this. involved. I thought we were done when they posted the fucking pictures, but we're not. Uh, we have R- Vanderpump Rules drama, Katie versus Sheena online. Yeah. Avril Lavigne and Mod Son are, are donezo. She was seen out with Tyga. And Kelsey Ballerini went on Call Her Daddy to talk mm. all about her divorce and Chase Stokes. So let's get into it, starting off the Weekly Watch Report. Welcome back to the Weekly Watch Report, where we talk about the things we watched this week. Weekly Watch Report. Weekly Watch Report. Come on down. down. You're going to change it? Fran, one, the your, weekly one of your watch hairs report. is like sticking oh. up back here. Thanks, Noah. I didn't see it. Yeah, it's from the back. back it's, my head. it's gone now. Okay. Um, Good looking out, Noah. Yeah. That was very nice. A weekly watch report. <laughs> you didn't watch one thing? Not no, one? I didn't watch one new thing. It's I didn't. Last weekend? Like No movies. Fr- Friday night? Saturday? What do you do? Sunday? <laughs> no. Monday? Tuesday? You just sit in silence? No, no. I talk a lot. <laughs> you and Marty just talk, but you don't. I mean, Wednesday on. we there's something on in the background though, like like background noise. But he like, watches a night. lot of sports. We put on like Friends or Seinfeld or Curb or Entourage. Like that's what we've been doing for the past. Two I mean, weeks. that counts, I guess. No, but it's nothing all nothing new. No, I have not, not watched no movies. No, I haven't watched anything new. I haven't. Outer Banks comes out today. It does. So I will be watching that this weekend. You can bet. You can bet your bottom dollar that okay. I'll be on the list next okay. week. But I have not watched anything new. I've been pretty, like, distracted TV-wise. Like, I haven't been, like, sitting down watching any- something new on TV. Like, I feel like I've been pretty busy. Yeah. Um. So I'm sorry. But when we when we made this segment, I said this exact thing to, to, you, to you guys. I said, yeah. what if there is a week or multiple weeks where I don't watch anything new? And, and you're, you're not, like, you're that's not, impossible. Well, and I was like, it's possible. I do that quite it's often. It's happening and... Thankfully, there's two other people that are watching new stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I watch, I guess. Oh, I, I watched The Real Housewives of New Jersey. That counts. <laughs> See, but they, like I got to dig so far back. You Just know? write it down when you do it. I do, I put a I do write it down. I, I The past times when I've writ, watched stuff, I've written it down. But I guess these things just didn't really, <laughs> really hit me as well. And I didn't write them down. Uh, Real House has a New Jersey. I guess I'll I'll put that down. Yeah, I watched the first two episodes. First two episodes, I'll give it an A. It's really? good stuff. Yes, I like the new Housewives. I'm I'm interested in this season. I'm very interested. I didn't watch Summer House this week, so I I can't. Yeah, I was watching The Bachelor. I like I like the new uh, additions. It's also where seeing where everything goes wrong with Melissa and Teresa's. You know. It's mm-hmm. all happening. I watch. I won't give anything away because I watched the third one yesterday. Okay, I'm excited and and it's good because it kind of seems like they sort of like reconciled a little bit, like Melissa and Teresa. Okay, don't but, spoil. I, I'm not spoiling. I'm not spoiling. Don't but spoil. but but Joe's fired up. I am. Joe is fired up. I'm excited to watch, and that is. <laughs> all the new stuff I watch this weekly week. watch that board. is my weekly watch board. I feel like an, I feel like an asshole. Like I feel like people are, I, are going to be mad, but it's like that's just what's happening. But it's like I can't be held down and be like, you must watch new things. You like don't I have to. Like, but you don't watch. have to. The whole point of the weekly watch board is that we talk about what we're watching every yeah, week. We're being so honest. guess what? You watch Friends and Seinfeld and college basketball and Entourage. Yeah, and, and like I, it's not like I'm yeah. never watching TV, but I'm just watching. You just have such an exciting life compared to me that I have nothing to me do too. with my life, so I just watch TV. I wouldn't say it's <laughs> like that. It, like, oh my god, so super exciting! Yeah. But like, I'm I just the yeah. last week or do so. You watch like, like podcast? Like, are there po- do you watch YouTube? Like, sometimes I watch YouTube videos. Um. Sometimes I'll watch podcasts, <laughs> but not really that often. Like I'll watch cl- like a little bit of some yeah. Look, my Most of my consumption of TV is happening when I'm getting ready. Like that's how I watch stuff, which I think is opposite to you because you like to listen to music. Mm-hmm. 
but like I will that's prop, crazy. Like I will prop my iPad on my bathroom counter, and like when I'm putting my makeup on in the morning, you, so I'll like, watch an episode of a show. Like that, I really do my wild. hair and my makeup, that. and I'll watch an episode but if of a show. You're doing your makeup. You can't be watching. Yeah, I won't the get. Yes, you can. I won't get ready if I put on a show. Like that, that's, I mean, I'm not watching that's like I, I listen to music because I'm like, ooh, I'm going out, and then I'm just walking. More to work reality here. TV, <laughs> like that's what I'm watching, yeah, catching up yeah. on all the shows. I'm because a lot of the legit shows I'm watching with Joe. Didn't you say because we're watching you it together on the subway? I used to watch on the that's subway. Yeah. When I see people do that, I'm like, you're, you're, you're crazy. About watching a show on the subway, I just feel like that's. I don't really know what's so crazy about Unless that. It's just a screen, like I everybody, guess. everything else. I'm gonna try to clock in some fucking hours this week, guys. Uh, next week, I'm coming back I locked mean, in. I mean, banks. you're gonna clock in well, Outer Banks. Well, I have Outer Banks, and there's a couple. I do want to finish watching Perfect Match because I rated it an F, but I heard the drama got really good. So, oh, so I want to watch Outer Banks. I want to watch Perfect Match. I have to catch up on Real Housewives of New Jersey. I have to catch up on Summer House. Yeah, I got to catch up on Vanderpump episodes. Rules. Three episodes. I I plan on doing nothing sad. I we have a big night Friday night. We're gonna yep. go out, hit the town. Why don't you take Saturday some of the and Sunday? To I do. have no plans because I have things in my head. She I has watch. No, she knows what she. Wants I know to what watch. I want to watch. I just am not sitting. To... If I wanted to sit down and watch something new, I would. I just am not right now. But this I Saturday, I, he's the one. Saturday and you. Sunday, I got no plans. My plan is to watch a lot of television and Here movies. Go. Outer Banks. So I'll clock in some hours for you guys. That wasn't the plan the past week or so. Yeah. I had other things going on. <laughs> I'm unbothered completely by your Thank watching you. habits. It's it ebbs and flows. It feels it feels like I'm getting attacked. I'm I am not <laughs> I am not attacking you at all. I know. I like like I said, I find these like out like I consume a lot of TV because that's I like background noise mm -hmm. and I don't like being in any type of silence yeah and music can fill that but i perf like i will put on reality tv to fill that void well the, i'm also <laughs> not sitting in silence no 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 i know the, yeah, the cable television's no on. that yes <laughs> but that's what i'm saying but i'm not gonna write that down like that's i don't want to i'm not an asshole who doesn't watch tv i just picture you and marty sitting at like a dinner table in silence whoa <laughs> when we eat dinner like we're talking yeah. to each other do you have music on or when you eat dinner or like TV on or it really depends on the night. Yeah. Sometimes no, sometimes yes. Like, you know, it's we, kind of a we, bizarre question. we talk a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> there's all, you know, there's conversation yeah. going. We don't just sit in silence. Sit, nobody's just sitting in silence. And also like, it's pretty normal to eat dinner yeah. with nothing in the background. Yeah. Yes. yes. No, there, there I is. meant sitting in silence as like when I am in on the, the bathroom yeah. alone <laughs> And there's oh, and it's quiet. Oh, I play music. And I, music I put a TV. Yeah. I put a TV show on. Yeah. Hey, your choice. Yeah. But I don't feel I like watched, going through everything I went did this past week to explain I watched why I wasn't watching TV. Watching TV. <laughs> I watched Nine One One Lone Star through my shower door yesterday. <laughs> like sometimes I just like to you take are a shower a TV and consumer I just, through and through. Yeah. Yep, I am. I really am. Um, what did you? What watch? did I watch this week? I watched. Uh, the Last of Us episode six was, it was good. I saw a lot of people complaining that they thought it was the worst one of the season. I don't think that. I didn't think that either. Like, I, I feel like it stayed pretty steady as like being a good show. I give it a B. Okay. Um, and I'm excited to see where it ends because it landed, ended on quite the cliffhanger. I watched episodes one through five, which is all the new ones. Well, now there's a new one out because they come out on Fridays of Shrinking on Apple TV. What did you think? Love it. Good? Recommend? Really good. Should Recommends. I clock it in this weekend? Clock it <laughs> in. Oh, yeah. Don't take mine. I take think it's... I, I thought it was very funny. Laugh out loud moments for me. Um, Joe and I are watching it together. You know how much Joe loves Jason Segel, especially forgetting Sarah Marshall, mm -hmm. Jason Segel. And it feels like... Peter from mm -hmm. Forgetting Sarah Marshall is just this character. Okay, I like that. Like then. there is I a love Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, like there is a moment where he does a Dracula impression. Oh, really? <laughs> on the show, and it, we were just like dying because we were like, "This is literally Peter Brennan, just like mm -hmm. as a kind of wacky um, shrink." And her, like, it's very good. Characters are great. All good. Um, Good storyline. He's funny. Harrison Ford is great. I I'm really enjoying it. I give it a solid A. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I'll mark yeah. it down then. I'm. Re I think it's really good. I because it's like 
I don't know. It's like serious, but also lighthearted. It's a good, and they're short episodes. It's nothing, not not taking itself too seriously. It's not like some crazy drama. It's more like lighthearted comedy, which I feel like we haven't had a good one of those come out. And I, that's, you know, I like it. Reality TV, I've watched a lot. Summer House. I didn't see, but this is where it also gets to be like, by the way, we'll say that I did have someone DM me last week that was like, you know what? She was like, I saw your grade for your place or mine on social first and was like, damn, Fran, that's cold. That's a bad score. And then listened to the podcast and was like, when I heard the number, it made sense. I saw some people <laughs> saying we should do a star system. Like star five stars. Star is basically the same thing to yeah. me as, as letters. Real, I think we got to go numbers. You like, think we should or to stay with letters? I don't know. We'll we'll we can. It's a work in progress. <laughs> um, Summer House. I watched New Jersey. Real Housewives of New Jersey. I watched. I have not watched the new Vanderpump Rules yet from Wednesday nights. What else did I watch? Nine One One Lone Star. <laughs> <which I just laughs> said I watched. Sounds like a fake show. Shower. Sounds like a show within a show. Nine One One Lone Star. Lone Star stars Rob Lowe, and mm -hmm. um, it's a spinoff of Nine One One, which mm -hmm. is another Fox. Network program nine one nine one one takes place in L A and that's um, Angela Bassett. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video of her like practicing it that came out like in yeah the, like, I can. Room? It's just it's so good. We didn't even talk about it before, but it's just I. But she Angela Bassett is this. <laughs> now I literally can't say Angela Bassett without. Mm -hmm. She did the thing, in nine one one. Yep. And then they started to make 911 Lone Star, which is in Texas, obviously. And it stars Rob Lowe. And he is a firefighter. <laughs> it's great. Sounds terrible. It just goes along <laughs> with all the other, my other Chicago programs and whatnot. Everything else that I consume, which is quite a lot. There's a new episode of Miami that I comes out i will be watching outer banks 100 percent. oh love island uk casa more happened it was good it was a good casa more i can't say it wasn't good um that's another thing i have to watch yeah which is hard for me because i really want to talk about it but i don't want to spoil anything for you because god casa more really like i had thoughts you know you, like there's just you know, is always watches on a VPN also is publicity. Mm -hmm. And I we message back and forth about Love Island UK because I'm like, I have to get my feelings out mm -hmm. to somebody. I might just skip like ahead. Yeah. Because honestly, I heard the the beginning is boring. Yeah, it kind of is. I don't know if Casa Moore is on Hulu yet. It might just be like approaching because VPN we're at uh we're at movie night, which is always oh, the good. I love that they Mo they started putting that in because What's that's movie really night? good. Movie night is where they wait for like a week after the Casa More recoupling where like everything goes back to normal and everybody like reconciles or breaks up or finds someone new and when everybody's happy and then they have a night where they play all the clips from Casa More to everybody. People? Is that a new thing? Because I feel like when I watched season five that I didn't remember. No, that. that they've been doing it the last few seasons. Oh, okay. So and they they make it a whole big thing. It's like they make a preview where it's like movie night, and it can and Ian Sterling goes, "It's here, <laughs> it's movie night," and yeah, that's when all the girls freak out because they see like the shit that the boys said to somebody else and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it, it the drama fucking trouble. pops off when that happens, and. I've got some strong feelings about some of these contestants. Let me tell you, I think there's a lot of insincere people this season that are just in it for the for the coin, in Probably. my opinion. There always is, but I feel like some are just more transparent and just really feel disingenuous. What's the right word? Disingenuous? Disingenuous. Disingenuous. Disingenuous? Yeah, disingenuous. Okay. That's how they seem. Um, but... I will say, at least for this last week, it has been good. So I've been giving it, I was definitely giving it like a lower score, but Casa Mora was good, so I'll bump it up to like a B plus for that. And I, that's really what I, oh, I finished Full Swing oh. on Netflix as well, because I just watched like the first episode, I think, when we talked about it last week. Loved it. Loved it. I thought Full Swing was awesome. 
I give it a B plus. You see, they're doing that with the NFL now. It's they are. Out, it's coming out in the summer. They, they're following. They're do it with everybody. Well, they're, they, the they're, NFL is so many people. No, no, they, they're, they're they're following three different quarterbacks. I know Patrick Mahomes is one of them. I forget who the other ones are, but they just the whole season. They followed three quarterbacks. Interesting. Yeah, I think it comes out in the summer. I don't know. I don't know if mm, I'm interested, but I also like when it covers. Like I like F1. Like Drive to Survive covers mostly everybody, which I really like. Tennis, the tennis one, I was like eh for me because I felt like I they the didn't cover one. everyone. Full Swing, I liked because I felt like you got a taste of like the guys at the top, in the middle, the bot. Like there was really a good showing. So for it to be three quarterbacks, it's I guess called quarterback. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> Kirk Cousins, and Marcus Mariota. Okay, so I see what they did there. They went, they went, they did the same thing. They went from a guy who's the best to a guy that's good to a guy that's at the tail end of his career. Yeah. Which is interesting for sure. From the beginning of the 2022 season to the end. Oh, so they already filmed it. Yeah. It's not coming out until the summer. Oh, pretty oh. good that Patrick Mahomes Yeah, no, that, that's what they said. They're like Super Bowl winner. So you'll see the whole. Oh, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> That sounds awful. Why would I want to put myself through that again? Anyway, full swing I thought was very good um, for anybody that... I mean, I think you kind of have to have like an f- interest in golf for it to be interesting. Yeah, I'm not interested. Yeah. In my... Like, I think you kind of have to like care a little bit about golf. <laughs> if not, it's probably pretty boring. Um, but I really liked it, so... That's all I got. All right. That's all, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'll start off with a bad movie that I watched called Horizon Line. Uh, Allison Williams, isn't it? Okay. Uh, the girl from Girls. Is that the girl from Girls? Mm-hmm. It's Brian Williams' daughter. Correct. Yeah, get out. Yep. Oh, I've never seen Girls. <laughs> uh, but basically they're stuck on like a plane that's running out of fuel and this whole thing. It's it's not good. It's a D. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched the movie Sharper that just came out on Apple TV with Julianne yeah. Moore and sebastian stan which was actually pretty good it was better than i thought it would be i'll give that a b uh they got pretty good a lot reviews. of good twists and turns um yeah i was interested the whole time shrinking i watched episode five which i probably is my least favorite episode um and i i write the scores down after i watch it and i gave us a c plus I, I've just lumped them all into one. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I I've gave it a higher through, score I watched last, one through five altogether. I gave it a higher score last week, but um, my least one, my least favorite one so far, but I like it. Um, last of Us, I give that one B plus, episode six. Have you ever seen Eden Lake, the movie Eden Lake? Ever heard of it? Michael Fassbender and um, uh, what's her name? The girl from Flight. Do you ever see Flight, Denzel? you never seen Flight? No. Nope. Damn. Okay. Well, very like disturbing movie. They're like stuck in a. They're camping in a Where forest. Where do you find these movies? Like, <laughs> well, I, this I, one I actually was watching a TikTok and I saw like a scene from it and it like, piqued my interest. So I, I yeah. Threw I it just, on. Like I'm like, where do you actually uh, that find... one? I watched. You know Pluto TV. Yeah. I've been watching stuff on there. Like it's kind of they have a ton of oh my stuff God, on there. I don't, I don't even know that people use Pluto. I TV. I don't know how it works, but it's all free. So like, <laughs> there's a couple commercials, but um, give that a C minus. But very disturbing. They're like they went camping in a forest, and then these like kids like terrorize them. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen the movie River Wild with Meryl Streep and uh, Kevin Bacon? You no. would like that movie. Write that down. Really? I'm I'm serious. I Why think you would is it like, like it. that? Um, it's also um, John C. Riley. Oh, really? It's, it's a serious movie. It's a. I don't want to spoil it. It's a really good movie. Okay. Very good. Check it out. Did you watch the third Richard Linklater movie? Oh yeah, yeah no, that's coming up. Okay, just you know. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, I watched Dear Edward episode five, which is another Apple TV, Apple TV show. That one's kind of like losing me. Like I was more, and obviously the first episode, like the plane crashes, like more mm-hmm. interesting and now I'm just like alright this kid like just losing me C plus <laughs> um, and I gave Eden Lake a C minus I don't know if I said that uh, yes yeah, so I watched Before Midnight uh, and pff, another great another movie. great <laughs> uh, B plus plot twist another good one <laughs> B plus but like if I hadn't seen the other ones I might have given it a higher one it's just yeah. it's they're all great that's 
my least favorite out of them. And here we go back to what I was saying. Like a B plus is like an eighty eight. Yeah. No, so, no. I mean these movies. Like if we if you check on Rotten good. Tomatoes, like that was my least favorite, and that has like a ninety eight percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Like it's a really good score. The thing is, it's like if you the first it goes in chronological order. So that one they're like older now and like they have kids and it's kind of just more depressing because it's mm -hmm. like they're looking back on their life. The first ones were like, oh, like right. They're young. Falling in love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Damn. But great, great movies. I've been on a big Ethan Hawke kick. Great, great actor. Happy for Ethan. You guys should watch it. You guys should watch those. Okay. Think about it. <laughs> I got right. a lot Rhea's, on my list she, now. Rhea's already put a lot on her list. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing was I started just another Apple TV show, Hello Tomorrow. Billy Crudup. Is it Billy Crudup or Billy Crudup? No idea. Billy Crudup. Uh, which I actually really like. It's this weird, like, it's supposed to be set in the future. And a lot of Apple TV content you're A lot consuming. of Apple TV. Because I, I feel like I never see it advertised but then when they go on apple tv once i'm like oh look at all these shows yeah um but this just came out and it's set in like the future and they're basically like salesmen for i guess in this futuristic world people can live on the moon mm -hmm. and so they're selling it's basically like selling timeshares but it's for people to live on the is moon. is it like a, is it serious or is it a comedy because it sounds it's, slightly it's, comedic no no it's more serious than oh. funny oh but it's not too serious. But it's uh, it's interesting. I that like sounds it. Sounds interesting. Look at that a B plus. Okay. And yeah, that's that's all. Big movie guy. Yes. No, movie mm -hmm. movie snob Noah is what we call him. I know him. you get mad that I don't take your recommendations, but genuinely, River Wild is a movie you <laughs> you would enjoy. Okay. Write it down because I actually want you to watch it. And I want I want your grade. And I still want you to watch I'm Dying Up Here, which I've recommended. Yeah, but that's you that's a show. That's a lot of episodes. I gotta I gotta it's clock in. It's not, River it's Wild not crazy. is one movie. What do you think it got on Rotten Tomatoes? River Wild? Yeah. Mm. Meryl Streep is probably up there, no? Mm, she's done some stinkers. <laughs> Meryl Streep. Not many. I'd say probably like 50-something. It is 50-something. You want to narrow it down? 52. 57. Mm -hmm. I was going to say 58, but that was my second guess besides 52. Yeah. I. It's a movie that's always stuck with me. I don't know why. I watched it when I was younger, and I've watched it like a couple times since then, and it's always one that I'm like, people don't talk about yeah. this movie, and huh. it's, a, it's a good one. All right. All right. That's it. That wraps that's, up the- That's, what we, that's what we watched this week. Guys, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and we have made it easy for you to find your green outfits this year. Barstool has a ton of St. Patrick's Day merch. Whether you're hanging out, partying, whatever it is, we got a t-shirt for you. Um, you know, Brianna always has great stuff. Uh, the entire Barcelona store is great. And I think you can bet, get your, your party t-shirt. You're just hanging, going to the bar with some friends. However you're celebrating, you can do it with the Barcelona t-shirt. We actually have a t-shirt jersey for Luck of the Irish. If you're familiar with the fantastic Disney original film... <laughs> You can get a jersey uh, and celebrate that way like you are right there on the team. So you can go to store.barcelosports.com to shop the St. Patrick's Day collection. The link is in the description. You can check it out um, right there to shop our St. Patrick's Day collection. Okay, let's get into some topics. For some reason, the drama between Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber has picked back up. Because it's never um, gonna be gone. I I, I'm just we convinced. Over I this. thought I thought everyone was gonna shut up when these pictures were taken, and no, that did not happen. It pains me. There's Truly been a lot of back and me. forth. Selena has now commented on a ton of things. A strange week for Selena Gomez. Um, she posted Instagram stories it's and been TikToks, some funky social saying posts. she wanted to look like Bella Hadid, and she's not as pretty as Bella Hadid. And then posted that Bella Hadid was her girl crush. This all raised some eyebrows, considering Selena Gomez dated the weekend after Bella Hadid. In did between, and, and right, like yeah. didn't they get back? To, didn't dated, Bella and the weekend get back together after that? Yes, too? dated Bella Hadid. I mean, dated the weekend after Bella Hadid did the first time, and then Bella Hadid and the weekend got back together. And so, I don't think. I, I, from what people are saying, that Bella Hadid is not the biggest fan of Selena Gomez. Um, 
Which I, I don't know. I don't. Who knows? Who knows? She doesn't follow her or anything. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe at the time, she probably wasn't too happy with Selena Gomez. Yeah. But now, she's probably over it. And so everyone just like raised their eyebrows a little bit. And they're like, huh, this is kind of strange. I mean, nice, but, but a little weird. And just a lot of posts lately. And then there were some things with Hailey Bieber. Everything she does, everyone always thinks she's she's shading Selena Gomez in some way. Kylie Jenner as well. Selena posted a, a video saying that she laminated her eyebrows too right. much by accident. Right. In the midst of talking about Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid. Then Kylie Jenner posted this picture of herself and wrote, this was an accident, question mark. And then posted a picture on FaceTime with Hailey Bieber of their eyebrows. Right. Now, to me... And this, it wasn't just those two pictures. Like, yeah, like there was a bunch she of... She posted a bunch of selfies of herself. And then it was like, uh, the one that you you know this was an accident it's like you always have that selfie when you're taking quick selfies of yourself and one that like looks bad or, or you think it, looks bad no you think it looks good but it was an accident yeah i yeah. think that's what it was like yeah. i think i usually i uh, you wouldn't post it if you thought she posted yeah, yeah. she thought she looked good but it was an accident so everyone and, took and, that and, and they everyone was like she wrote the words over her eyebrows like they wrote like this yeah. was an accident it was just in over the her eyebrow of the yeah. screen yeah that like, felt and like immediately people are like this was uh directed towards selena gomez which i just think it was a coincidence i don't think that these people would purposely they know by now yeah that everything they do and everything Haley does people trace back to selena gomez yeah i don't think that they are openly and willingly putting these things out there to shade selena gomez knowing that people are gonna say that so i think that was that was blown out of proportion right and, and then, then Haley had posted Haley had posted a tiktok like a couple weeks ago that everyone also thought she was like shading Selena and then she deleted it. It was just a TikTok sound yeah. that they were doing voiceovers for that was going viral. But yeah. many people were making TikToks as TikTok sound. Yeah. And saying like, I'm not saying she deserved it, but she did. And right, people said there's about Selena like Gomez. The, the public like yeah. decided that they were going to go in on that again. And then it's a just a really it's absurd just connection. Yeah. The, none of those two did not connect at all. Yeah. And, and this girl on TikTok made a video about it being like, I think that she, I think Kylie was shading Selena and like posting all about it. And, oh, now the sound is playing. And Kylie had commented, this is reaching no shade towards Selena ever. And I didn't see her eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. And then Selena wrote, backed her and wrote, agreed, Kylie Jenner. It's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie. And so then it was kind of like, oh, maybe this is done. But then Selena started and, commenting right, on other and TikToks. Selena commented on stuff because a, a, a video of Haley resurfaced from her show, Drop the Mic, she was the host of, that Roan actually wrote on. Yep. Shout out Roan. And it was them talking about Taylor Swift and then Haley doing the gagging yeah. face. Old clip. Old clip. Resurfaced on TikTok. Haley Bieber, she just can't win, man. <laughs> she just can't. Like, they will find whatever they can. Yeah. And, and Selena stepped in yeah in defense of taylor in which i just think like selena really i know she was defending her friend but right she said this clip was so old and she wrote so sorry my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game yeah we know and i understand why i defend your friend but at the same time selena you know you know what's gonna happen if you yeah. comment on something about Haley and a couple weeks ago when she commented on the post of Justin Bieber and the pictures of her. And it's like, just stop commenting on the things that involve Haley and Justin. Just stop commenting. And I know yeah. it's really hard, but it's, oh, well, Selena will be more at peace, I think, if she just does not comment on these things. Because it, it just creates just more and more and more than people say more things and more people get involved. And it's like, sometimes it's better to just, you know. Yeah. I think it would have just died down if it was like the one TikTok interaction and then everyone was like, oh, you know, can't believe we're talking about this again because we thought this was all squashed. But the multiple comments, Selena also commented on, and I think like sometimes she me like she means well commenting on these girls' posts because they're very supportive of Selena, mm -hmm. but it's like the other things that are said that it's like, oh, is Selena now, like is she co-signing what this girl is saying like there was a couple TikToks where one 
was just like a girl being like, I, um, you know, my heart goes out to Selena. She's been through so much and she had to go through, you know, she was in love and, and was with somebody for seven years and had to go through a really public breakup. And then he was engaged two months later and and then she has lupus and she's dealing with mental health issues, like really just like kind of like mm-hmm. listing all these things. And Selena commented like that just made me cry like thank you like on the TikTok. And then there was another one of a girl being like she was more fired up and she was like I don't really follow like I I don't really follow Selena that much but like I do now I'm supporting you girl these mean girls out here trying to bring you down like we ride at dawn like we you know basically being like you've been through so much and I support you and I'm going to like listen to your songs and do all your sh- you know whatever and she commented I love you on that TikTok. So it was like She's kind of feeding into the the narrative, narrative that, that like they mean. are being mean girls yeah. and going after her. Right. And now we don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. We don't know if anyone's saying something behind the scenes, but maybe I'm naive, but I don't think that they are maliciously going out of their way to be mean girls because I think they're all smarter than that. I, know, I think I that agree. they at this point in time, they got PR people. They would know that unless Haley down to her core is actually a bad person. Right. <laughs> which I don't think she is. You have to have some self-awareness of like, oh, this is like going to make people upset. And it was also like, I feel like Haley has got to be frustrated because she constantly gets dragged into this when she didn't post anything. Yeah. Like Kylie posted and then all but like because it was like Haley's other eyebrow in the picture like Haley and then all the, all the TikTok trends and search categories are like Haley Bieber mean girl. So mm-hmm. it's all like it's all Haley. It's like oh Haley's group are just these group of mean girls trying to take down Selena. Let me tell you. If I was Haley, I would be so upset that people constantly think I'm this mean girl yeah. if I truly was but that's not what I'm saying like even if you are though like even if you are kind of a mean girl when it happens enough times you you want to avoid being you want to avoid that label right like you're like God, like, I know deep down I'm a mean girl but people have got to stop saying it right so like I'm <laughs> so not gonna gotta, do anything like I gotta that's lay low for I, a little that's bit that's why I genuinely don't think she is because I know I know she's I not thinking about these things ahead of time which means then she's just being her like she's, I don't I don't either I think coincidence I think that, Selena that people are, gets into her it, it all builds up for Selena sometimes yeah and then like she's online she sees stuff she wants to support her fans so she comments and interacts and then it just spirals in the wrong way like I don't know if she means harm from it but I just think like it just yeah it all just I don't gets know if we're being her. naive but I just feel like these people wouldn't they're they're very famous people like they're not just openly being mean to people they know that people are gonna put these things together i don't really think kylie jenner has any reason to be mean to selena gomez and kylie jenner is at least from what we know getting in the mix at all anything ever even with her own family and that's why i said it was crazy for her to even comment on that tiktok because she really does not comment on, on a lot of stuff the only time you ever really see her comment is when things are so ridiculous or outlandish that she's like for the she's like guys i'm i'm chiming in on this one like this is so stupid you yeah. know like so and that i know selena felt like that's a- always the trend and that's what she said on that and and selena seems supportive of of that comment of that being like yeah it's a reach but that's the thing like i also think i also think outside noise can make you think a certain way so mm-hmm. like for selena she maybe sees that comment and then sees all the other comments on the tiktok and it's like you're like I was just looking at some of the comments It's like you're so right these girls are awful they're so mean like and if you're just reading all these comments about how all these people think these girls are being mean to you it couldn't get you to think yeah. that these girls are being mean then to you. you might go maybe oh my god maybe there's there's something I'm not seeing they exactly. are being mean to me exactly so I think that you're right the outside noise is a big influence I mean Selena I love- has so many diehard amazing fans right. but they will they will say and do whatever yeah. to protect selena and if selena's reading all those things it's like wow maybe maybe they are coming after me but it's like i don't think they are. i don't think they are i love all of them too so it's I sad know. that there's always this drama like i'm a selena fan i'm a yeah. Haley fan like why would kylie they, fan i just and I, for Haley too it's like i don't think Haley ever wants to invite any of this noise into her stuff anymore especially because right. like 
Then people bring the businesses into it. Everybody's commenting like rare beauty so much better than fro. Like it's just right. like it gets so messy in it. And, and why uh, would stretches Haley, to so many different things? Why would Haley actively do things that would? bring in comments yeah. about her and her husband yeah like i feel like she doesn't want to hear no. it anymore so why would she openly be mean like it no. just seems it seems crazy but they the internet is always always constantly pitting them against each other and i think you're right i think yeah. then selena goes on and sees these things and goes mm, they're ma- they're Maybe on to they something are being mean, yeah and that's not good well because when these girls make these tiktoks like the actual mate the actual videos they're convincing like you mm. know they lay it all they're like well then kylie posted this and then kylie did this and it's right over the eyebrows and then they posted yeah. their eyebrows and like if you're watching that you may be like shit maybe they did do right. that maybe they are making fun yeah, of because me. we did have a discussion before we were like are they yeah but like that would be like, nuts you got to use your critical yeah, thinking yeah you have to you got to separate yourself yeah. from the drama online and go would these people really yeah. do that Come and on. I also not totally not they're, they're, like not everyone is evil yeah. and malicious like that. And also, not everyone consumes every little bit of other people's content. We do, yeah. But like Kylie for, Jenner for doesn't Kylie have notifications like, on hey for guys, Selena Gomez. I missed Selena's eyebrow post. Like she probably <laughs> did, yeah, because it was in the middle of a story post. It was also in the middle of the day. Like it, you know. So I and Ky- you know, granted, Kylie may have missed that one. Like yeah. I don't, so. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. Meanwhile, Kylie and Selena are like going head to head on who has the most followers on Instagram. Female, uh, per female who has the most followers on Instagram. Selena's now edged her, edged over her. But it's just like yeah. So it's that, just a they lot. really joined forces exactly. To make it sure that happens. It's just it's just a lot, and it's so it just feels like it's coming out of nothing. I would love to know what like Justin and Haley like talk about when this goes down. Like, God, it night. must be so frustrating really for exhausting. everybody, for all of them. Yeah. For all of them, it must be so frustrating because it's like, I didn't we put this to bed? Yeah, it's never going to be put to rest. Speaking of more drama happening online, Vanderpump Rules. The girls are the, the girls, girls are, are fighting online. The girls are the fighting. Bravo, the Bravo people are fighting online. Yeah, they are. We're going Katie into a good, Maloney. good drama. <laughs> He's not happy with Sheena Shea because she's saying that Sheena really pushed Tom yeah. and Raquel's fling for them to be a thing and called her an evil troll. Yeah, called her an evil troll. And Sheena is claiming that Katie was super okay with this. Yeah. Had multiple conversations with Sheena saying that I'm okay. I, Raquel and Tom would be a good fit. Um, Katie was saying now that she was 17 drinks in and she, you know, yeah. doesn't agree with that. Right, that she like took like one little comment and actually turned it into like fact from a night out or yeah, something. Yeah, Raquel and Sheena are coming in next week, so we'll talk yeah. to them and get the get the story from them because I have no idea. Once again, you never know who to fucking believe because mm. both people are so convincing on both sides. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, oh, did you? But sometimes, look, my personal like, opinion is because uh, I just think of myself in that position, right? And you're, I'm like, if I'm Katie, I I don't think I'm co-signing. Tom and Raquel getting together. No, I don't think I'm co-signing it, but then you also have to think, if I'm drunk... Yeah, you may say something. You may say something like, oh, that, that'd right. be fine. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, then yeah. you think back and, and you're like, like oh, I'm actually not, not okay not with fine. that. Yeah. It's not fine. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe she said it jokingly and yeah. Sheena took it the wrong way. I don't know. They'll be in here, so we're going to talk a little about that, but that's what's going on in the Bravo world. A lot of people fighting online. A lot of fighting online. Big time. So then, and it's been a lot of comments. Then Tom and Raquel posted a picture on Instagram together, and then they were like, "Oh, we didn't mean any, we didn't mean anything by posting the picture yeah, together." Okay, sure. It's like, oh, you guys t- were fueling the timing fire. is everything, and that post happened right in the midst of all this. Yeah. So, so they obviously were onto something with that. Yeah. Um. Some couple updates: Avril yeah. Lavigne and Mod Son have ended their engagement. They split up. What and the hell happened? Avril Lavigne was seen with Tyga, just out of nowhere. Just a very hilarious grouping of names mm-hmm. if you didn't know the context <laughs> Avril Lavigne Mod Sun and Tyga walk into a bar didn't think that those three would ever be mm-hmm. combined into one story I thought Avril and Mod Sun had something beautiful I Apparently guess not. not I guess not the flame burned too bright too fast for them I thought they were a match made in heaven where when I saw I, them. So did I. I don't know where the hell Tyga comes into the mix. <laughs> Tyga seems like a good guy. I've always, I was always a fan of his of his TikToks. Yeah. Remember when he jumped in the mix with Rob Kardashian when they were talking about the, their kids schooling? Yeah. With Black China. 
That's when my like for Tyga went up. Does and his TikToks put out music were funny. Still? I was a big Tyga fan when he was putting out like Make It Nasty and Faded I don't really and all know those. Any of his music. Avril and Modson have been on and off for the past two months, but are well, no longer together Tyga's as a couple. A good guy, but I also feel like he had a creeper relationship with Kylie Jenner. Yeah, yeah. I so know. I don't Mod know. Modson and MGK are good friends, right? I think I think so. Yeah. You think they're just like you know what? Let's be single. Again. Remember when Mod yeah. Son was dating Bella Thorne and Tana Mojo? They had the couple. Yeah. yeah. That was an interesting time in our lives. That was early, early days for chicks in the Bella office. Bella Thorne's got a. And then she was engaged to that Italian guy. Yeah, and now they she has a new boyfriend. Came out with a movie um, that I saw on my Hulu home me. Hulu homepage. Yeah. Um, no, it was something else with the Italian guy. Yeah. Oh, you get me was the other one. Game of Love. It was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that on my Hulu homepage, and now she's got a new boyfriend. But a source told people that um, Avril and Tyga are generally friends and nothing more. There was absolutely no third party involved in this split. A rep for Mod Sun tells people they were together and engaged as of three days ago when Mod left for tour. So if anything has changed, that's news to him. Mod will be <laughs> Mod will be performing tonight in Portland at the Hawthorne Theater. <laughs> oh, thanks for plugging. So I guess Mod Sun's sort of Mod Sun's rep is trying to say that, like, as far as he knows, that they were like still engaged, but the source is saying that they are broken up. Yeah, maybe Mod Sun's in. Uh, Mod Sun's trying to act like every yeah. that they weren't. Maybe broken he's trying up. to make it happen still yeah he's trying to just people i really never thought i would be talking about no. in a scenario in a scenario like this we really you know tiger kind of lays low these days he does but he was popping on tiktok for a while I yeah, will he say was. That. on top of that last topic yeah. kelsey ballerini was on call her daddy and she was talking all about her divorce and her new music and her sliding into chase stokes dms mm -hmm. so it's interesting she was talking about the divorce. Her ex-husband made a song. Mm -hmm. And uh, they. she thought all was well between them. And then he went and made a song. Yeah, like weeks after, mm -hmm. she said, that they had had the divorce conversation. Yep. It's um. It was a great interview. I really like to hear. Kelsey said on TikTok, she, she was like, you know, when I did this and put out the EP... I said I wanted to do one like sit down in depth interview about it, talk about the material because I think she felt like she didn't want to go on like a whole press tour of mm -hmm. like talking about her divorce. Yeah, like multiple times. Exactly. Exactly. The same story. And I think especially with the way she is talking about like not using it as a form of release, like, you know, you're still talking about him putting out music kind of mm -hmm. you know hurting her so i think there was a, a balance there and i think she definitely was like i'm doing one she did call her daddy um in the tiktok she also was like i hope everybody really listens to the whole thing because i know you know there'll be headlines from it but like i would really love for people to listen to the whole thing and i thought she was fantastic because she's very clear about like hey there are different people's perspectives this is my story. I'm sure it's different from his story. Um, but like I have to. She has a line in a song where it's like and I'm I'm going to misquote it, but they talked about it in the interview where it's like he claimed he was blindsided. But it was like, were you blindsided or are you just blind? Because she's like, how could you not see the way I was feeling? Mm hmm. Like and you, you just, you know, like you re you weren't there. You weren't present. To see exactly. Yeah. So, you know, he puts out that song. Um, they have been they've been rocky for a while from what she had claimed like it sounded like she gave a lot and maybe didn't get as much back from him um, when she finally decided that you know they were splitting up and they had the divorce conversation she said it was a beautiful conversation she thought it went really well they haven't talked since they lawyers got involved um they did have a prenup, but like he wanted half the house or alimony, and she mm. was like, "What the fuck?" Just like so, cause they were selling their their house, um, and it's just crazy to see like you know early on her friends had kind of said he has more to gain from this than you, mm. and to like see it full circle come around to that, I think was very sad for her, and they have not spoken. He release that song like I said without telling her and he was you know basically the gist of the song is like you you know you left me like how could you do that to me um and very convenient it also. always surprises me where people are like oh my oh my god I'm so shocked you left me yeah and then you hear the details of the relationship totally. and you're just like 
She's talking about nights she's sleeping on the couch. They're yeah, not talking like, for you, weeks. You don't tell me you're that surprised. Yeah, exactly. That's why that's why that blindsided line is so good. Like, were you blindsided or were you just blind? Yeah. Like, you clearly just didn't see how I was feeling. Um, she told a story about how she was having, like, a really tough time in L.A. a few years ago and was really upset and called him and was like, please come here. I need you. Like, mm-hmm. and she says she really doesn't like to ask people for things she's a people pleaser and like that's how she kind of kept things together and she called him to be like i need you and he didn't come mm. and she was just like you it, can't it's be just, doing that as a husband no so i don't know it, it's it just clearly sounded like and she said he loved me more at 22 than he did at 29 and he's nine years older than her they also really were disagreeing on having children She wanted to freeze her eggs when she turned 30. Like, she wasn't ready to have kids yet, but he's older. And he was like, I don't want to be an old dad. So there was just, like, fundamental issues that were not going to make the marriage work. Also, just, like, creepy when you think about, like, oh, this guy liked me better at 23 rather than, like, when I'm a mature adult at 29. It's, like, strange. Exactly. She's like, I feel like I've, you know, grown into myself and my beliefs and all these things. And so she she left him. And, yeah, it's, it's, like, kind of... But I felt I felt she was extremely respectful throughout the whole thing. She did speak on certain things. Her ex-husband, Morgan, did put out like a statement on Mm -hmm. Instagram and whatever. I think it was just one thing. And then also very convenient that right after this episode dropped, a page six article came out that was like Kelsey cheated on him with Drew from the fucking chain smokers. Oh, my God. Like a few years ago. And it's like, oh, sources say like blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, I wonder who that source could be. Yeah. Like that they're like, oh, like, because it's in this guy's mind. He's probably like, oh, Kelsey, like now everybody loves Kelsey. Everybody is. And I'm like, you know exactly where that story is coming from. Right. He dropped that. Like you dropped that little. Yeah. Like somebody from his camp 100 percent did. And honestly, like they just did not sound like they had a good relationship mm-hmm. at all. So it was going to come to an end. And and then she slid into Chase Stokes DMs. His Instagram name is Hi Chase Stokes. She followed him and she uh, he followed her back and then she said, Hi Chase Stokes. It's pretty good DM. <laughs> pretty good DM. That's good DM. It's a good um I, I bet you it's not the first time that he's seen that, but I bet you it was the first time he was like, This one I'm gonna respond. Yeah, like to. Mm, Kelsey Ballerini, I think I'm gonna respond to this one. Yeah, she said that um her manager or somebody yeah, like her within manager her team, lives in Charleston. Charleston, they film in Charleston was like, This guy's really cute. She said mm. she hasn't watched the show. But they now, now they're dating, and she did say she's not single. Yeah. So, um, it is probably a little closer to being like a serious thing. They clearly are an an, ex, an exclusive relationship, mm-hmm. but also still pretty new. She said they started talking like beginning of December. So yeah. it's only really been a few months, but right. she seems very happy about it. And I love what she said too. She was like, because Alex asked her, you know, do you feel bad about like pictures of you guys being posted or anything and her ex seeing it things like mm-hmm. that she's like no we're broken up mm-hmm. like with our my, our marriage is over like she's like i know this she's like this is gonna get like taken the wrong way like but i'm allowed to move on with my life like yeah. and hopefully he has people that can protect him if he wants to like not mm-hmm. see these things but like he's no longer my responsibility and yeah. i was like damn you I tell him that. you're right yeah that's true I know. So I thought she she handled it very well. A yeah. lot of respect to her. I like her a lot. Just seeing I do more too. and more. I'm, I, I'm really liking her a lot. And she brought uh, Alex a rhinestone cowboy hat. Pink uh, cowboy hat that really had cool. AC on the side. It was really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> it was really cool. I'm feeling bad for Chase Stokes that in every single interview he's doing for Outer Banks, they ask about Madeline Klein and they ask about Kelsey Ballerini. It's oh, like, are they? I haven't really, really seen I'm a just lot. seeing all the clips on to TikTok. TikTok? It's like, yeah. how annoying is it that you yeah. have to be asked by your ex-girlfriend and your new girlfriend in the same sentence every single interview you do? And in the I same breath? In this, it's basically like, oh, you know, you're working with your ex and oh, but you know, you yeah. Kelsey Ballerini. <laughs> and I saw one where he was like, I'm just happy to be with my boys right here. Cause he had like yeah, yeah. guys next to him. And he's like, just happy to be, you know, talking about Outer Banks with my boys. Like you could tell he's just like tired of the yeah. same old thing. Like, yeah. all right, how many times am I going to say that me and Madeline are fine? Yeah. And yes, I'm dating Kelsey Ballerini. Yeah. Like I, at some point it's like, and it really does seem like they're fine. It does. I've saw a lot of clips from them. Yeah. That they just seem fine. Yeah. Which, but they both yeah. have moved on. So yeah. they must be. Exactly. 
So it's good. And I'm just now I'm like very much rooting for Kelsey and Chase. I mean, I was from the beginning yeah. about Kelsey right, and Chase. I'm rooting for them, but if it doesn't work out, that's okay. I'm just too. rooting for Kelsey individually Same. also because I think she is awesome and um and the EP is is really is really great too. Like she was just saying if if she, if anybody out there like she was looking for something like this when she was going through it. So if people can relate to her story through her mm. music, it's great. Yep. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks of the Office. We love you guys. We hope you have an amazing weekend. YouTube subscribers, they keep on going up and up. And soon enough, Noah will have blonde Ble- hair. Bleached blonde, bleached blonde hair. hair. Um, so look out. Look out, everybody. Uh, we love you guys, and we'll talk to you on Monday. 